Hi guys, welcome back to another one. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how to make beaver boards for actually drying them out and getting them ready for market. So, or if you're wanting to tan them as well, I suppose. Another option. So what I have here was a 4x8 sheet of nice sanded plywood for me. So that kind of saved me from having to sand it like I had to do with this. And this should hold up a lot longer compared to this under that kind of strain as well. So basically all you want to do is cut these into the sections provided, which is really easy. Um, so what I have here is a beaver pattern. So you go like this, and then you put it over here, and then down, and then the other side. So just like that, you have your whole board just on one stencil. You can buy um, designs online for free, or you can get this. Makes it super easy as well. And as you can see on here, there's all the different sizes as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total um, actual lines on here for sizes. So what you want are the same number of markers or something to actually put it on the plywood for you. So I have eight Sharpies, all different colors. Just so when you're working on this side, you don't exactly know, but if you're on the black line, you know that you're supposed to be on the black line over there. So that's kind of why I don't repeat my markers is you just don't want to have that mishap and then you have to pull it off and then redo it. So basically all we're going to do here is we're going to side or sand each side because these are still not completely good because we just cut them so they are still a little plywoody you know there's always going to be a little little shaving here and there so we'll go ahead and get those cleaned up so when you're actually using it with your hands you don't get slivers or anything like that especially when you're working with an animal you don't want any open cuts or anything so this will help prevent that and then we will get started on this. So what we'll actually do first off is we'll go ahead and I'll do one here for us. So I'll just get this blown off. Now I'll go ahead and actually start my marking. So what I'll start with is just on this side, just because this is where I am. So I'll start on the outside working in. Doesn't really matter because as you see, this is right on the corner here. And if you are to flip it, it comes right to the corner here. So that'll work perfectly for it. Some people like to actually curve them like this. Um, I don't really see the real point for me as each one of these boards, so you have one beaver on this side, you can flip it over, you got another beaver on that side. So you can have six total beavers going at the same time drying because you'll have one on this side, one on the other, and then for these two as well. You just wanna make sure you have a good table set up for that if you're doing that, because you don't want when you're actually doing this beaver, you're putting this one up and you have that one on the bottom, you don't want that just slammed against your table. You want the edges of the plywood to hold it on. So say you just have like the little outside sections that don't have any fur, that way that beaver is not just getting torn up against your table. So we'll go ahead and we'll start marking some lines here for us. And you can kind of use whatever you like for it. It doesn't really matter. We just use Sharpies because that's what we got on hand. So we'll go ahead and do that. And just make sure that you keep your lines nice and straight and you know exactly the order that you're going in because the worst thing that you can do is go ahead and change it up on like your third rotation. So each time you flip it, you want to make sure all of these lines match up. So just make sure 
You keep an eye out for that. And basically, it's just fill it in all the way around. Just like that. And just keep going until it's all done. So what I'll actually go ahead and do, I'll get the time lapse rolling for us here. And we'll just crank out some boards. I'll probably just do one side for today of each. And then you can always go back next time on the next day and get that other side done when you have more time. Since we are still pretty far away from season opening, at least here, that I'm not in no rush. I can take my time. I don't need to go fast. I don't have to work really late on these projects. I can just kind of go at my own pace and not have to worry about getting my stuff done by season time. And we're almost done. We almost got all of these filled in here. Perfect. And just like that, got that section done, all ready to go, just like that. You guys can't see that at all. Just like that, you got that section done, so we'll just repeat that process for those other three sides. And yeah, let's get going. All right, guys, so we just got that finished up here. So we got three brand new beaver boards ready to go for the season. So as you see, we have all those lines put on perfectly. So that's ready to go. And then I also went ahead and I drilled some holes into each of the boards there and there, as that's how I'll be hanging them up, as I like to hang most stuff from up there. Um, I went ahead and actually got some more heavy duty board and then the actual hooks are a lot more heavy duty as well so they don't come out as these boards themselves are very heavy let alone with a beaver on them especially if you put all three onto that you want to have enough support that it's not just gonna break apart and fall down so other than that if you guys have any other ways that you guys usually make your beaver boards feel free to leave them in the comments below it's great for us to all learn together and yeah, thank you for watching.